Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. A lot of you have been asking for more videos on the yellow, green, red and blue subtypes and they are so important and that's why I'm making this video because I have learned that they determine your cognitive function hierarchy. It is your development that decides how much you have come to use and rely on a certain cognitive function and how in tune you are with its inner workings. And yellow types are going to value different cognitive functions than green types. And it's all about your top two strongest letter preferences. Are you more introverted than you are judging? Are you more intuitive than you are feeling? Are you more sensing than you are thinking? Are you more perceiving than you are extroverted? If you have come to value something more than others, if you have a preference that is stronger than the others, that should go in the top. That is your core cognitive function preference at the moment. And as I was looking at the subtypes, I noticed that we have a hierarchy of needs. I start investigating myself as a red subtype, but after talking about it with my girlfriend and other people, I think yellow is a strong contender. And I wanted to begin with the yellow subtypes. What makes you a yellow subtype? First, it is a high openness to experience. You value new experiences over being good at something. It's more important for you to have fun than to do something well. It is more important for you to have adventures and to experience and see new things than it is to do something in an organized and conscientious way in accordance with your values and your ethics. So yellow types are about openness to experience but also something else. Steadiness. Steadiness is at the core of the yellow type. Steadiness in the sense of knowing why you do what you do, in thinking your decisions through, in reflecting on your actions and why you act the way you do, and where you are headed in life. And when you are a steady and open type, you are evaluating and thinking about why you make the decisions you make, where you're headed in life, where you're going, where you want to go, what you want to see next. You're thinking about new opportunities, you're brainstorming new potential, you're thinking about new available ideas. EN types that are yellow are going to be amazing at spotting new opportunities and searching for and exploring new adventures. They will be thinking about and planning out new trips. They will be thinking about people they want to meet, things they want to study, things they want to experience and learn. And comparing it to the other yellow types, the IN types, the philosophers, are the ones that are going to be thinking the most about why they do things. As a yellow INFJ type, I will be thinking a lot about why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm going to be thinking about my life philosophy. IN types are strong philosophers. We simulate on and we reflect on where we are headed in life. We think about what it is we want to get out of life. We think about our longer overarching purpose. We think about what it is we want to see and what it is that is of interest to us. So we're constantly dreaming up and simulating on and thinking about where we are headed. So yellow types are about their story and writing their own story. Yellow types as IS types are going to be highly in tune with their overall life lessons. An IS type is going to be a, a type that thinks a lot about what they have learned in the past. They will be thinking about past experiences. They will be thinking about lessons from their family, from who they are and what they have done in the past. And ES types as scouts are going to think about what they are seeing and what they can see, what's happening around them, what the people are around them, what they see, how things look, where things are, how things are shaped. They're going to be exploring the world around them. That's at the core interest of an ES type. Now the yellow is different from the green in so many ways. Where the yellow type is about thinking about their story. The green type is about thinking about how to get what they want. The green type wants to obtain something. The green type wants to achieve something. The green type wants to make something happen. 
They have something they want. And they are resourceful. They are in the director mood. They are trying to obtain the resources necessary. They are trying to do the right things, make the right calls, make the right decisions to get their dream to happen. They're going to be thinking about what calls to make at work, what actions to do. They're going to think about what's authentic and what's the right and wrong thing to do. They're going to think about what is their ideology and their overarching sense of ideology. They're going to think about what beliefs matter the most to them. And they're going to think about acting in a congruence with what they believe and with their ideology. So a feeling and judging type is going to be green. A person with strong feeling and judging is going to be green. A person with strong thinking and judging is going to be green or have a lot of green in their life. They're going to make a lot of decisions based on what is possible. They're going to be structuring and planning out their life. They're going to make a strategy as thinking and judging types love to do. They're going to be architects of their own fate. They're going to be structuring and planning out and deciding what they need to make their dream happen. Now the green types are different from the yellow types in the sense that as a green type you are more interested in doing something right and in getting what you want. You are more interested in values and rules and systems and logic than what is fun or what is interesting. You are more interested in gaining something or obtaining something or achieving something or doing the right thing than in seeing something new. So conscientiousness versus openness. What are you? Are you more about doing things the right way or are you more about exploring the new thing? But beyond this, are you more in control of your life or are you more sure of yourself and who you are? Green types and red types wrestle with one thing and that is a sense of uncertainty of who they are. A sense of uncertainty in if they did the right thing or not. The green and red types are highly decisive types. They, they all have a strong sense of control. They have a strong sense of what they want. They are good at structuring the decisions. They're good at uh, making sure they make what they need to make happen. They are taking action and doing things and making move, moves to get what they want. The red type is rushing out to a new adventure and they're making their adventure happen. They're doing everything they need to make sure that their adventure is in place and that they can see the world. And the green type, they are doing everything to get what it is they want, what it is they think is important, what it is they think is valuable and ethical. So you're looking at these types from the baseline of what it is you currently possess more of decisiveness or certainty and the reason the yellow and the blue types are the most steady and the most certain of themselves is because they think the most about it we are constantly engaging with our thinking functions our studying functions our introverted and extroverted functions and we're getting information new information to let us know what is good and what is bad. We are constantly reflecting on and processing information to make sure we are making the right call. And that does give us a heightened sense of certainty compared to the red and the green types. The red and the green types, they are going to have higher confidence. They're going to be better at making what they want reality. The blue types might have strong ideals and might be really good at something, but they might have no clue on how to monetize it and how to make it worthwhile. The yellow types might have a strong awareness of what's their goal in life, what adventure they want to go and what they want to see, but they might have no clue on how to make that adventure happen. So we are constantly learning something as we find out what our subtype is and what our current development is. What it is we are lacking. As a yellow type, the primary thing you are lacking is the resources to make what it is you have seen or what you want happen. And the resources are found in green. As a blue type, you are lacking the guts to go out there, to put your work out there, to get what it is you want. 
as a red type, you are lacking the awareness and the insight and the knowledge a blue type possesses. And as a green type, you are lacking the reason, the overarching journey, the overarching story that you need to know to understand why you are even chasing what you are chasing. Where, why am I doing the decisions I'm doing? Where am I going with everything? What am I headed towards? That's something you can only find out through philosophy, through history lessons, or from EN investigations. Now, a feeling and perceiving type is a green type in the pursuit of authenticity. A thinking and perceiving type is a green type in the pursuit of logic. A thinking and judging type is a green type in the search of success. The feeling and the judging type is a green type in the search of harmony. The red type, the red intuitive and judging type, strives to make their path happen, the journey they have started, real. They are wandering and going out there to explore and to find out what it is their purpose is. They are pushing themselves out into the world, going on a journey to explore. The red SJ types are practicing a routine, rehearsing a routine, going out, building on, advancing on, maintaining, structuring, disciplining themselves towards something they find to be interesting. The red SP types are grabbing the world by the balls. They are moving with guts. They are moving on their instincts, in tune with their instincts, to explore, to experience, hands on what the world has to offer. The red NP types are going out with curiosity, asking questions, finding hidden paths and opportunities, making calls in the moment, bringing things up, seeing new ways forward in every moment. They are the creative types. The blue ET types are judging the results they have made. They are scoring themselves. They are evaluating themselves. And that's what an ET and an EF and an IF and an IT type is doing. They are evaluating what they are doing, thinking about if it was right and wrong. And the ET type judges what was right and wrong based on what results they got. What did I get out of the decisions I did? Where did it take me? What did the other person get from what they did? Is there a system of justice in the world to reward and punish what's right and wrong? Is this system of justice upheld? Do actions have consequences? The EF type is constantly thinking about what they dream of. What, it is, what is it I dream of? What it is, is it I find important? And am I getting this? Am I get it, getting what it is I find important? Am I getting what I want, what I dream of? The IT type is judging, scoring their own situation. How much did I get? To what extent? Where did it take me? What did I get from it? The IF type is reasoning, reasoning with themselves. Was this what I really wanted? Did this make me happy? How do I feel at this moment? What can I do to make what I feel reality? What can I do to make other people happy? What can I do to be happy? The IT type is the true expert. They know the inner workings of everything in and out. They have mastered a system. They know it's right from wrong. They are skilled at scoring and knowing when someone is doing something in a 
in an appropriate way. They can point out with precision exactly what you did wrong and how you did it wrong. The IF type can find out why you did it wrong. They can find out what it is that made you do things wrong. They can find out what it was that caused you to act the way you did. An IF type is constantly thinking about why people did the things they did. And we are skilled at troubleshooting people's behaviors. The EF type is good at noticing what people are actually doing. If people are true to their values, if people are true to what they say, if people do what this they told you they would, if people are authentic and honest with what they'd want. The ET type is good at pointing out what results we got from the actions we took. What did we actually get out of it? Did it actually give us anything? How much did we get from it? What can we do to get more? Did the people honor their promises? Did they give you what they promised you? So the subtypes have to do with what you've developed the most, what you are the best at. And in the end, when finding out your subtype, find out if you have been more in story writing mode, thinking about your life and who you are and where you're headed, or if you've been more in making it happen mode, the director mode, reflecting on how to get what you want and making things happen actively, or if you've been more in evaluation mode, thinking about what you've gotten so far and how it's, where it's taken you and how it felt getting there. Or have you been more in the red mode of exploring something new, taking action, acting out your life, seeing things in real time happening and making decisions in the moment to find out what it is you find fun and interesting. Hopefully this video helped you learn something about the cognitive functions and how they work. And hopefully they taught you a little about your unique personal development and your top cognitive functions. That's all for today. Hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Thank you all for watching and see you later. Bye.